Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make this castle in Minecraft. If you enjoy this video or find it helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get right into this. Alright, so we're going to be starting by adding oak logs as our framing. We're going to come to this first corner and make a five block pillar. We're then going to move over seven blocks and add another pillar. Same height, all the pillars I'm about to talk about are all going to be five blocks tall. Going to move back three, and each one is also, apart from those first two, three blocks apart. So, moving around, we're going to add four pillars for the first side. Again, they're all five blocks tall, all three blocks apart. Jutting out from the side, one block, or one pillar. We're then going to make the other side of the building, I suppose. You know, it's the same face, but you know, whatever. Y'all get the concept. You can watch the video. The back of the building is going to consist of five pillars. All flat like this. Moving on to the right side of the building. That same three pillars here. Move in one, or move in three, and then add your four pillars. Well, you're only adding three because this one we already made. Ooh, looks like I accidentally left a few of y'all short, but here we are. Once we do this, we're going to take cobblestone, and between all the blocks of these pillars, just add a one block high of cobblestone. With an exception right here for the doorway, just at the front of the building. Alright, next we're going to take some stone brick. We're going to fill in the facade. That's just the front of a building. So, on the side, we're going to go all the way five blocks up. Here there's going to be a window, so leave the two block gap at the bottom. This one, all five blocks up. Here, a two-block gap at the bottom and one at the top. You'll see why in just a second. All the way up here, all the way up on the left side, with that same two-block gap for a window. So here, we're going to make a sort of A-frame shape. And we're also going to add a cross in the middle, which is why this is here. So, this is the pattern you'll want to follow. Just from the bottom of the cross, make sure to add it and have your A-frame shape. It's really pretty simple. Then we're going to move on to all the walls. So we're going to fill in the rest of this with stone brick. I will give you guys a tip if you're on survival. You don't actually need these or the tops of any of the pillars except these first ones. You know, if you're trying to save materials. However, I'm in creative mode, and this will make placing the stairs a lot easier, so I'm going to leave them in. But anyway, each one of these segments will have a window punched out, and they're all going to be exactly the same as far as that shape goes, so I'll speed through this. Alright, so once you're done with that, we are going to take out our white stained glass and put them all in the holes. You can change the color. I know a lot of people don't like the non-clear glass. However, I don't like how the detailings are so like opaque in the clear stuff, so I always use a fairly neutral stained glass. But, you know... Your build, your choice. I know a lot of people love churches with those colorful panes. Just doesn't really match the rest of the village, in my opinion. Alright, and one thing before we add the roof. I meant to do it before the panes, but whatever. I just add a door. Good little door in the front. I like having them inset into the wall, 
if you don't like that, make sure to replace this block with spruce in your build. But anyway, the roof is going to be a fairly normal roof. We're just going to add spruce along the side. All of this part will have spruce making along, except for that front where we made the A-frame. Alright, so let's real quick, now that we have the sides done, let's make the A-frame. This one, just like all the other builds, we're going to do slabs for these. This building, when I was planning out the village, is actually the reason I chose to do slabs on everything is because this cross was pushed up so close to the top, I want the slabs to be able to sort of to sort of show this a little better. Stairs would have covered it up more if I had done this. But anyway, like I said, slabs are amazing because they're just pretty neat. Look at this guy. 10 out of 10. Good roof. Anyway, the rest is pretty simple. You'll just continue the pattern all throughout the roof. Alright, so we're done with that. I did, however, make a little mistake. I forgot I was going to add something here. This, I'm going to make a tower. You know, churches have steeples. Ours got to have one too. So I know it's hard to see when the stairs make everything all jagged. This is a 5x5 five five hole. Which is our tower is going to break out of. <laughs> Sorry. Three. Alright, so with this tower, we're going to start at all these corners. And these blocks are going to be seven blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're just going to do that in all the corners. These ones are a little tricky with placing because you got to add some extra blocks to place the wood off of. That's no big thing. It's just a little annoying. Alright, we're then going to fill these sides in with stone brick. Leaving a gap here because we want another cross. There the window will be. And we're just going to continue that on all four sides. Alright, so there we go. We are then going to move on to the roof. And I mentioned earlier, you know, you can shave the top off of most of that stuff to save resources if you're in survival. You can do the same thing here. Just shaving the top off. I just keep it in because it makes the stairs so much easier to place when you don't have to worry about resources. But it is just going to be a very standard cone roof. So I'll zoom ahead. All right, here it is. Don't forget your glass panes on all your windows. All 
All right, we are now going to move to the inside of the church. All right, so like I said, this strip could be left out because this is where we are going to place the ceiling. Um, I did my best to keep it as high as I could without messing with this window. Uh, the reason I'm not just adding the roof here is because it will mess with the podium up front. So it's going to be one block right at, I mean, a half slab right at the bottom of that window, just all across the entire place. All right, so here is the ceiling. I got a little hole at the top. This is because I'm going to make this part visible from the inside. I'm going to bring this down. So you, the key of you may have noticed the hole I left while doing the tower. It's because it was just going to get filled in when I said to make sure to bring this down. I'm not going to bother doing it with the pillars because that will remain unseen. This whole like attic area will remain unseen once finished. So I like to add stairs right here just to make it feel more seamless going up this place. Also, adding a ceiling to this because we're going to add a bell right here. All right, grabbing the materials real quick. This bell is gonna be real simple, just a chain at the top and two gold blocks for our church bell. Moving on to the pews, we're going to take some dark oak stairs and just add them in like this all the way up through this front section. If you'd like to make them seem a little bit more roomy, you could go like this and then add a sign on the side. I just preferred how this looked. We're going to leave this last block because it doesn't look good pushed up against. Let's go to the other side. All right, moving on to the podium that the preacher would stand at. We're going to come to this window and do five spruce blocks coming out from it and do the same at this one. Then we're just going to fill that in. And on either side, we're going to add stairs to get up to the podium. And right towards the center, we're going to take a lectern, put that here, add stairs on either side, and a sign in the front, just to keep it all cohesive. So this is where the preacher would stand to talk. All right, every good building needs some lighting. And here we are going to do it on all of these pillars. So just add your torches all along the sides of this building. And there you have it, a nice well-lit church. All right, last thing we're doing is we're going to add some beds in here. Uh, if you wanted, you could also fill these walls with bookshelves. I found that also looks nice. I'm doing this to sort of buffer out the villager population, and churches often are also, like homeless shelters, you know, clothe the hungry, feed the homeless, something about brushing up on your Bible, you'll know it better than I do. But add beds, because churches are often homeless shelters, and this village needs more villagers. Anyway, that will be it for the church. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, again, like and subscribe. If you added this to your world, make sure you tell me in the comments. I would love to hear it. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.